Hey guys, I'm Bruce Chewy Side, and uh, here's a track guide for Phoenix Race 2, second to last race of the year. So, this race is next week, and we're done with track guides for the season. Best I could do is a 27.3. There's going to be lower for sure, because I'm never the fastest here, and I suck at this track. And if you notice something in the scheduling for the NASCAR iRacing series, you'll see that Phoenix is in the day for fixed, and the NIS Open has it at night. So, usually supposed to have the same thing, so... Don't know what happened there. So it, what I used was the default setup. Is it, remember, these are always fixed. Everything's default, even the weather. So everything's default on that setup, except for the brake bias, which I moved down to 62 and a half. That's just preference. I prefer it low like that, but it's also dangerous. So let's just see how I did this lap. We'll do a cockpit, then a roll bar view, and then we'll talk about it. So here we go. And now for the roll bar view. Now this is just to get a more, uh, I don't know, more of a look at the line. Except I'm not going to slow mo it this time. And yes, I know it's a roof cam, but it says roll bar. I haven't decided to change the name of that. I don't even know if you can change the name, but I just changed the camera. Alright, that's it for a 23, 27.3, I mean. So let's take a look at it. And a more detailed view from my field of view. Or point of view. So we're making our way to one. And I'm breaking. You see these cones right here? The one, two, three, and then there's a two, and then there's a one. Think of those as a three, two, and one break marker. Because that's... Pretty much exactly what they are, yeah, except they're, uh, they're cones. So I'm braking right as my car passes past the three cones. So right here, the back of my car should be just, I don't know, next to, next to the one, yeah, see right here, right at the three, I'm right next to it. So pretty much right after you're past that, that's where I'm getting on the brakes. So I'm going to let it roll, and I'm getting on the brakes about 50% when I get to that point. So I'm holding that brake until I start to turn down more. And the more I turn into the corner... Actually, you know what? Let me rephrase this whole deal here. So I'm braking. I'm braking, like I said, right after the three. I'm holding that brake, and I'm turning in pretty, pretty much at the second cone marker. And I'm holding that brake and I'm driving right to the bottom. The yellow line you'll see right here. My mouse's arrow. My arrow is pointing at. So the minute I make the car start to really turn left, that's when I'm rolling out of the brake. You can see that right here. And by the time you actually get to the line past this wall here, you should be off the brake completely. And that's what I am right there. I'm off the brakes. So we're just letting it roll all the way to the line and right on the line. In fact, I think I went under it a little bit, but once you get it to hit, I guess the so-called eight fix of the corner, even though it's a little weird. So pretty much at your lowest point onto the track right here. This is where I'm starting to pick the throttle up and you want to play with it here. And in most cases, you should be able to stay in it. It gets a little bit loose. On the way, way exit, it's tight right here. Tight, 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 and right here it gets loose, and that's why I kind of chased it up the track a little, and I smacked the wall right there. Now you can see down the road there's a dog leg. You can cut, you can cut this entire apron if you wish, if you want. But it becomes really difficult to do in a race, as well as... Yeah, you do gain some time down there, and some people will tell you you won't, but... I'm going off if I see a pro do it, I'm pretty sure it's the right way. But they only do it on fast hot lap qualifying laps, not race runs because it's just bumpy, it's just not worth it. 
So that's just optional. Just, in, I don't know, make your way to the turn three. But I guess I could say just try to be right on the yellow line here through the corner. You can go under it a little bit if you want, but whatever. Here in turn three, again, I'm breaking probably between the second cone and third cone marker. So these two and these three. Similar to turn one, so right in the... Oh, wow, I'm way past that. Let me check that out from Chase Cam. All right, then. So when the front of my car, when the front of my car reaches uh, the second code marker, I'm on the brakes pretty hard. And at this point with this setup, it wants to break loose on you going into this corner. So be careful. And there's a little tiny bump right here. It's just the transition from flatter to, you know, more banking. So I'm on the brakes like I was in turn one. And the more I turn down, the more brake I release. You can actually see that demonstrated by watching this entire corner. And like I said, you want to be real smooth and drive it down. Car gets really weird through turns three and four. So you really got to let this thing. So once you're about to the apex of the corner, that's where I'm pretty much off the brake 100%. And then I start gradually picking it up. Like right here at the Farmer's Insurance logo. So at the farmer insurance, we're going to start picking the gas up, try to keep it down. Kind of want to do a slight diamond effect where you want a good, you know, drift up a little, then dive back down. It's just the easier way. But you should be able to get to the full throttle by the time you see these dots here. See them three um, here in this underneath the apron there. As you see those ones there underneath the yellow. <laughs> so that's where I'm on the gas 100%. And again, you want to drive as straight as you can off because this happens. It gets real loose. And that's a problem. You'll see a lot of people probably spin out of four this week. And that's how you get your lap. So that's the best I can do. We'll be back for Homestead here in two weeks. So, or next week, I should say. Anyway, some recent Chewy side.